the North based youth group, the Northern Youth Council of Nigeria, NYCN, has praised the effort of the Nigerian police and other security agencies for the quick response in arresting and eliminating some alleged members of the IPOB and ESN who took the life of the Northern Elder and former presidential aide Ahmed Gulak in Imo State. The group also assured Nigerians of, e of Igbo's origin living in the north of their safety and also promised that their security and well-being will be well taken care of. The NYCN made the disclosure in a statement presented by the President Comrade Abubakar Issa. He noted that the, proact the proactive and very timely intervention of the security forces had come the already freed nerves of the northern region, especially among the youth. The group also noted that they have withdrawn the two weeks automaton earlier given to the Imo State Governor Hope Uzodima demanding him to fish out the killers of the northern politician and the former presidential aide. They also called on police and other security agencies to use the same energy they fish out to fish out other forms of criminality in other regions of the country. Well, this is well said by the Northern Group. Wow. They have said it all. They said that they were already angry. They wanted to blow. They wanted to, you know, actually revenge the death of Gulag because of uh, the way he was killed in Imo State. They had already sent messages to the Imo State governor warning him to come take his people out of the northern part of the country before they get um, them arrested, before they kill them all. But now they have withdrawn all that, saying they are in, uh, we, are in, we are one Nigeria and there's nothing that can separate us. They have cancelled the ultimatum given, the 24 hours ultimatum given to the uh, to the eagles living in the north but now it is no more because the death of gulag has already been uh, avenged what is this country turning to for crying out loud everybody is now loving their own region nobody wants to be concerned about other people about other people's region is how we're going to make our one Nigeria. This man, uh, the Gulag, Gulag was killed in Imo State. On what ground? What has he done? What has he done to deserve this? And look at the way uh, the police murdered some guys who were allegedly IPOP members and ESM members. So, if this is how the police have been doing in the country, they will not have any problem of insecurity again because we have many police as much as possible who can arise to the defense of everybody. But look at how it is today. Look at what it is now. Look at how far people will have to go. Look at how, uh, how much energy everybody is putting in place this is not too good this is not too good we have security personnel who are supposed to be up and doing every day but we have problems with the person i mean with the government some of them are not satisfied with what they have been paid some of them don't even get their salaries as as when they, how do you want them to effectively work? 
the things to the uh, you know police that came to the not even rescue that got these people arrested well i think uh, it will surely calm some tension in the country at least many people will learn from what ha happened let's see what people are saying on this new story uh the nycn actually saying the truth have they actually withdrawn what the, the statement they said concerning the eagles living in the north or they have wave it because gulag gulag uh, killers have been killed as well and some of them arrested this person is saying that a uh, full husband will kill and score and we kill scores of innocent people, government and police will not arrest or killed or kill any of them. Yes, we have heard stories about how these Fulanese people have been killing in the uh state in Imo State and uh, some part of the western part of the country but still now you cannot say these are the people arrested to in that effect these are the people arrested in the are uh, from the afula uh, needs no you will not sit your sitting in our dear country even if their leaders were arrested you will not even know when they will be released is that how we're going to continue in our dear country, Nigeria? Okay. Another person said, empty trade. No one has monopoly of violence. House of Fulani has scattered everywhere in the north. House of Fulani has scattered everywhere in the north. Okay. We have to be in unity. We have to be in unity. If we continue to revenge or avenge the death of our loved ones, then war will not end. War will not end. And it is not good for us. We have not even entered into or begin any war in Nigeria. And things are already falling apart. Things are already going the way they want. Is that it? Is that how this is supposed to be? Is that what we are supposed to be facing in this country? Hunger everywhere, hunger everywhere, security, insecurity everywhere, you know, and so many other problems we have in the country. This one is saying that uh, they arrested innocent people and termed them killer of Guleg, which is typically a blatant lie. Wow. Planted like, is it true that the police can go that far just to destroy the image of the ESN and the IPO? Can they just go get some people arrested, calling them names, and you know, tagging them as the killer of Gumi? Uh, sorry, Gulag. Well, if that is what they've done, it is not good and it is not uh, fair. It is not fair. They are supposed to get where is the evidence that they were really the killer of Gulag? Where is the evidence? And that is why the Nigerian and uh, Nigerians are finding it difficult to believe our people, to believe our police and our army in whatever they do. Well, let's know your takes on this new story. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.